again for the get to the point I wanted to show you something else very quickly on the Azure AD box now this is something uh, a bit tricky that sometimes we want to not adhere to the cycle of the 15 minutes where uh, everything gets synced up there might be cases where you want to force the sync and get it done a bit quicker so what we're going to do here is under PowerShell I'm going to go into the PowerShell we're going to run that as administrator and I'm going to install something on here, which is install module Azure AD preview. And that will go ahead and install a nice little module that we can use to force a sync if we would like to. So we give that a second, that's going to go out and we say yes to that. That will install those binaries for us. And once that comes back, give us the opportunity to do this piece of work. Let me say yes again. Apologize for that. That is the linkages to these other two servers that do time out from time to time. So that's nothing to do with this particular screen you're looking at here. Okay, so once that is done, We can exit this window because the binaries are installed. So all we need to do now is go into, actually preferably right click on your start button, hit PowerShell admin, and you'll have the ability to then say start AD sync. Now it's called start AD sync sync, which is a fun name for it. And if you run through there, sync sync cycle and dash policy type there's two options you have initial and you have delta so if you want to do an initial that will force everything to go through or delta is just going to give you the changes so if I hit delta there and we get a success what it will do is if I go back to my synchronization service you can see that now it's kicked that off and says it's in progress now that's, as I say, that's a nice one if you want to have the timing taken out of the equation and you've made a couple of changes, you want to force those through real quick, then you are there. So an example of that is, let's go to our DC, let's go to our users, and we're going to create a brand new user, very important that he gets done immediately, his name is Bob Smith, and Bob Smith, Talisoft, we'll give him a quick password like so just a very basic user but he does exist there now so what I want to do is go back through here and we want to do a Delta sync now while it's doing that I do want to have a look and see what this error is here and you can see we have permissioning errors now this does happen from time to time. Now what it's doing is it's telling us that the account that we have for the service account, the AAD Connect service account, cannot write back into AD at all. Therefore, we're getting permission errors. It's trying to write something back into that AD, doesn't have the appropriate rights to be able to do so. So this is uh, something we might want to fix up. The easiest way to do that is to take our service account, which is our AAD Connect box here, and add them to the domain admin. And you'll find that that error obviously is going to go away. We can hit the delta again, it'll force through. Now what I'm expecting though is that while we're fixing this error, you can see these sort of things happen on the fly. We are looking for the, as you can see, 820 upwards. Success, we're looking for an export on the talisoft.com, which we're now getting. And we have six updates. Now, what I'm looking for here is the item with the one. And there's our Delta import success. And this should be Bob Smith. 
and there he is. So you can see quite easily we didn't have to wait for the cycle. We have forced Bob Smith into the system. So if we look now into the system here, and I do a quick refresh, bam, lo and behold, Bob Smith is here. There we go.